The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, just this morning I received an email from a constituent. It reads, a friend is getting pushed out of her apartment because she cannot afford to pay the second annual $100 increase to her rent. Come July 1st, her rent will have increased $200 in two, year, two years, so she is forced out. Rent control in Nova Scotia is a problem. There is no control. Mr. Speaker, it's so obvious that what would protect renters right now is rent control. Why is the Premier so opposed to enacting this protection for Nova Scotians? The Honourable <laughs> Minister of Service, Nova Scotia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. Uh, you know, the purpose of Service Nova Scotia and the Residential Tenancies Act is to try and find a balance um, of fairness between landlords and renters. And we're constantly looking at ways to um, make it more accessible uh, for people to find safe, affordable housing, but also for people to just find housing, find, find places to rent. Um, we have looked at rent control within the department, and we see the studies that show that it does not prove to be effective. But that being said, we are always looking for new ideas and, and looking at different cities to see where something could be put in place that would be effective for Nova Scotia. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, initially this government claimed that rent increases are not significant enough to warrant rent control. I think the story I shared uh, speaks for itself, but it's far from the worst story I've heard of dramatic rent increases. And, and, and then it declares that rent control doesn't work. But the government believes that rent control works well enough when it's the one paying the rent. And that's why it negotiates rent control into housing agreements with landlords. Mr. Speaker, can the minister please clarify for the thousands of renters in precarious situations, is it that rent control is not needed, is it that it doesn't work, or is it just that this government only listens to landlords? The Honourable Minister of Housing, Nova Scotia. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. Uh, this government is working with multiple partners. We've said that all along, Mr. Speaker. We also have said... Mr. Speaker, there are challenges. We know that with housing. We've made investments, Mr. Speaker. We'll continue to make those investments, housing support workers who are out there working every day to assist people to find homes. We realize that, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to work within our communities, Mr. Speaker, right across this province, where there are housing support workers and various other programs that have been enacted by this government that we will continue to support and grow and help assist people find housing. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.